This captivating movie follows Todd, Kirsten, and Paul as they navigate the complexities of high school, love, and societal expectations. As Todd confronts the choice between fulfilling his father's Harvard dream or following his own passion for art, he finds solace in the unwavering support of his friends. So let's join Todd, a high school graduate, as he embarks on a thrilling journey with his girlfriend Kirsten and his friend Paul. Together, they anxiously unveil the envelopes containing their university entrance exam results. Excitement fills the air as all three discover that they have passed the exams. However, Roy, the strict math teacher, shocks them by refusing to sign Todd's character reference for admission to Harvard due to his low grade on the test. As Todd sits by the tranquil pond, engrossed in his cartoon sketches, an unexpected scream pierces the silence from the opposite shore. Startled, he encounters Vicky, who apologizes for her outburst caused by her overwhelming emotions before mysteriously vanishing into thin air. Later that evening, the friends attend a lively party. While Paul endeavors to play matchmaker, Kirsten invites Todd for a romantic stroll in the park. Meanwhile, Paul attempts to evade an irritating acquaintance, and upon spotting Todd behind the wheel, he rushes over, desperately seeking an escape. On their way, fate intertwines with their path as they encounter Vicky stranded next to a broken-down car on the roadside. Recognizing Todd, she remembers how her previous scream had startled him at the lake. Seizing the opportunity, the guys offer Vicky a ride, and Paul tries to impress her by praising her impressive car, only to learn that it belongs to her husband. Secrets unravel as Vicky confides in the boys. Finding refuge at a nearby diner, Vicky calls for a tow truck while they wait. However, the wait will be long, prompting the trio to indulge in ice cream. As they leave the diner, Vicky insists on paying for everyone, but Todd insists on at least contributing to the tip. Vicky calculates the amount swiftly in her head, playfully mentioning it as credit to the math department. En route to Vicky's car, Todd confides in her about his struggles with math, fearing that his future will crumble if he can't retake the test. Encouragingly, Vicky assures him that things will improve. Upon reaching her car, Todd convinces Vicky to consider tutoring him in calculus, as it could be the key to saving his future. Vicky promises to ponder over the idea. Upon returning home, Vicky finds her husband, Roy, waiting for her. Little does she know that Roy is the very same math teacher who gives low grades to Todd, adding a surprising twist to their connection. Get ready to be captivated as this enthralling story unfolds, revealing the challenges and unexpected turns that lie ahead for Todd, Kirsten, Paul, and Vicky. As Todd returns home, he faces the disappointment of his father, Jack, who expresses his frustration with his son's academic struggles. Seeking a solution, Todd reveals his need for a tutor, prompting his father to promise assistance. However, Todd surprises his father by confessing that he has already found a tutor himself, earning a sense of pride from his father. During lunchtime, Todd excitedly shares the news with Paul that Vicky has indeed contacted him. In chemistry class, Kirsten approaches Todd and apologizes for their recent disagreement in the park, revealing her need for some time to sort out her emotions, while assuring Todd that he can achieve what he desires. After school, Vicky arrives at Todd's house, and with his parents absent, they delve into their math studies. Todd later confides in Paul about these tutoring sessions, all while helping Paul with his own move from his parents' house to a cottage in the backyard. Though their study sessions with Vicky are focused on math, there's an undeniable intensity between them. The lessons with Vicky prove fruitful, and Todd eagerly informs her of their progress, inviting her for another session in the evening. However, when Todd goes out with Kirsten, he resorts to deception to prevent her from becoming jealous. He fabricates a story about his tutor being an older woman. Kirsten reminds him of their traditional dinner with friends that night, which Todd cannot attend due to his tutoring commitment, but he assures her that he will find a solution. While Todd engages in a study session with Vicky, Kirsten seeks solace in Paul's company at a diner, not wanting to leave her friend all alone. Eventually, Todd arrives at the diner with Vicky, who agrees to let him join his friends after their session. However, Kirsten realizes that Todd has been misleading her about his tutor's appearance and leaves the diner, feeling hurt by his actions. In math class, Roy, the teacher who once was disappointed with Todd, challenges him to solve a problem on the board. Coolly and confidently, Todd provides the correct answer, leaving his teacher pleasantly surprised. Roy acknowledges that Todd's university recommendation now appears much stronger. Eager to share his progress, Todd informs Vicky about this achievement and extends an invitation for another tutoring session. In a surprising turn of events, Vicky boldly invites Todd to visit her at her home, eager to showcase her sculptures. Curiosity piqued, Todd accepts the invitation and arrives at Vicky's place. As she unveils her artistic masterpieces in the garage, Todd wonders why she keeps her creations hidden from the world. 
Vicky explains that she fears being labeled as eccentric, an impression her husband shares. Revealing their strained relationship, she finds solace in Todd's company. To Todd's surprise, Vicky has a special gift for him. Grateful for the handmade creation, Todd impulsively kisses her on the lips, leaving Vicky momentarily taken aback. Sensing the boundaries, she doesn't allow it to happen again as they move inside the house. Inside, Vicky playfully flirts with Todd, and their intimacy deepens as they share tender moments. Vicky takes the lead, shedding her inhibitions and revealing her sculptures as they explore their connection further. Overwhelmed by the encounter, Todd confides in his friend Paul, arriving at his place in the middle of the night after his rendezvous with Vicky. Paul's reaction to the story isn't one of enthusiasm, causing Todd to head home. Unbeknownst to Todd, Kirsten was present in Paul's room and overheard their entire conversation. During school lunch, Todd approaches Kirsten's table, only to find her packing her belongings defiantly. Perplexed, Todd fails to comprehend what has transpired. Suddenly, Kirsten raises her voice, publicly exposing Todd's connection with Vicky to the entire cafeteria, shattering his world. Believing Paul to be the one who divulged the secret, Todd confronts him, unaware that Kirsten had already overheard their conversation. Paul admits that Kirsten was present when Todd shared details of his sessions with Vicky. Tempers flare between Todd and Paul, as Todd suspects Paul deliberately withheld the information due to his feelings for Kirsten. Their argument is abruptly halted by the arrival of Roy, who assigns the boys the task of safeguarding his car parked in front of the school as punishment. Outside, Paul and Todd recognize the Corvette that Vicky stood beside the night they picked her up, leading them to a startling revelation, Roy is Vicky's husband. Realizing the complexity of the situation, they hurriedly connect the dots. Determined and distressed, Todd rushes to Vicky's house, upset that she failed to disclose her marriage to his teacher, Roy. Vicky remains unfazed by Todd's concerns, leading to a heated discussion. Aware that Roy is already on his way back from fish, Todd stealthily investigates the source of the noise. As Roy approaches, Todd conceals himself amidst Vicky's sculptures, while Vicky pretends to be engrossed in her work with an angle grinder. With Roy preoccupied with cleaning the fish, Todd finds a hiding spot, out of sight. As Roy exits the garage, he asks Vicky for a printer, intending to draft a recommendation for Todd, his exceptional student, to secure his place at Harvard. Vicky assures Roy that she will arrange for a printer. Once Roy leaves, Todd cautiously slips away from the garage. At school, Roy approaches Todd, holding his school notebook, which he discovered in Vicky's garage. Did Todd really believe he could keep everything a secret? Panic sets in as Todd fears that Roy has uncovered his involvement with Vicky. Todd admits to his grave mistake. However, to his surprise, Roy reveals that he only found two test results. Realizing Todd's connection to Vicky's math tutoring, Roy promises to write a recommendation for Todd's university admission. During a math class, Roy uses Todd as an example, justifying his stern approach to teaching. After the class concludes, Todd confronts Roy, questioning the rationale behind his cruelty towards students. As Todd attempts to leave, Roy stops him with a probing question about his involvement with Vicky. Fearlessly, Todd confesses the truth. In a rush, Roy heads home while Todd desperately tries to reach Vicky, but she remains unaware, absorbed in her own affairs. Upon Roy's arrival, he unleashes his fury, destroying everything in the garage, until Todd emerges from the shadows. Roy, perceiving Todd as a genius due to Vicky's influence, acknowledges his accomplishments in math and even grants him a recommendation for Harvard. Seizing the opportunity to distract Roy, Todd is unexpectedly struck unconscious. As Todd regains consciousness, he apologizes to Vicky for the chaotic events that unfolded. Surprisingly, Vicky expresses gratitude, realizing that her relationship with Roy had long soured. In response to Todd's inquiry about her future plans, Vicky shares her intentions of heading to New York, hoping for better opportunities for her sculptures. Bidding Todd farewell, Vicky presents him with a recommendation letter for the university, symbolizing their unique connection and the impact they had on each other's lives. With an interview looming, Todd dashes off, determined to fulfill his promise of visiting Vicky in the vibrant city of New York. During the interview, Todd faces a crucial question, why does he aspire to attend Harvard? Though his father dreams of it, Todd realizes that it may not align with his true aspirations. Returning home, Todd musters the courage to confess to his parents that Harvard is not his desired path. Instead, his heart yearns for the pursuit of art in a specialized school. Seeking solace and reconciliation, Todd rendezvous with his friends at their beloved diner. Amidst the conversation, he calls Kirsten for a walk, apologizing for the pain he caused and pleading for her to keep their friendship intact. As twilight blankets the world, the trio gathers on the dock, 
contemplating their future selves. Todd envisions Paul immersed in the world of supercomputers, while Kirsten becomes a published poet with a collection that resonates with the masses. As for Todd, Paul humorously foresees him playfully shouting free cash register at McDonald's. In the final moments of this captivating movie, our hearts are filled with a mix of emotions. Thanks so much for watching the video till the end. It means you really love the story, so don't forget to share your love with us.